All right, just waiting a few minutes for people to join. Hello, oh, Noella. Hello, oh, Hankashi. Neot up in a chichi. How L? How Penny? Okashi Terry. Okashi Linda Rose. <coughs> oh, watch there, though. Watch there. How may that be? Okay, to kinde awasana. Uh yok be an up it use up Um shake all of your happy to shake all of your hands. Um my relatives. Um a little still a little bit under the weather. <laughs> so um anyway, uh I did a a, a test run. How Toshka Eric. I did a little uh test run last night and um, uh, it worked out okay. Uh, so Sunday nights at eight, I'm gonna do this for anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour, we'll see. <clears throat> um, but tonight being kind of the, the first official night, what I wanted to start with was to talk about the sounds <coughs> of the Dakota language. Talk about myself just a little bit, which uh, is hard for me to do sometimes. Um, but when I do, when you do, we could jump in a new but some new but that could be a more spinach. You know, you could be a head chum with the change the macro to the Dakota Makoche did what you do. So, uh, I've been learning Dakota language now for 22 years, and uh, because I am Dakota and uh, I live on Dakota land. And um, I, when I first started learning, uh, I started learning the primarily the Bitawakantua dialect over at um, the University of Minnesota. And my instructor was Franklin Firesteel, who was from Sisseton. And um, I, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I would say much of the Dakota language movement, <coughs> there, there, there really are um the movement that we have today there are two people that i would really like to uh uh say wopeda tonka to and um uh, one is koshi Kerry shomer and the other is uh, franklin firesteel um and since then there there have been uh, many people that i'm grateful for for uh teaching me but um just kind of getting back so <clears throat> i i speak the d dialect of of uh, dakota um, you probably heard there's Lakota and Nakota, but um, if you are from any of those Teoshbayes that speak uh, those dialects or those variations, it is the same language. There are just some minor differences. Um, <clears throat> but I, I can help you a little bit. I just, I did not um, uh, grow up speaking any of the language, so I've been focusing on Dakota. So anyway. Um, and the focus is to get the language spoken at home. So I'd like to encourage you to use it at home to label label household objects. So we'll in the weeks to come, we'll talk about that. But um, first off, I wanted to talk about the sounds of the language. <coughs> so I've been teaching now for 17 years, teaching the Dakota language. And um, there are a couple observations I've made. One is the there are sounds in Dakota that are not in English and so many of us our first language is English uh, majority of us as Dakota people our first language is English so some of the sounds are uh, in Dakota are are tricky so I'm going to start with some of those <clears throat> so the alphabet is uh, the missionaries in the early 1800s came over 
and put the language in a written form. And we still use that written form today. It's been changed many times. <coughs> uh, we have um, close to 30 forms of writing the Dakota language, but actually only a few of them are really good for us second language learners. A fluent speaker, if they're literate, they can pick up just about anything <clears throat> and they can get it from the context. But us second language learners, if we see a word that we've never seen before, we have to make sure that we know that we know what it sounds like. Is that a ch? Is that a ch? Is that a ja? Is that a ch? Ah? Is that a t ah? And so forth. So <clears throat> just going to talk a little bit about some of the sounds here. So um, I'm just going to do this kind of traditionally as uh, similar to the English alphabet. So I'll just I'll write some here. I'll show them on the screen. Okay, so you can see that these are the sounds I'm going to talk about right now. So, <clears throat> see, I'm doing this backwards. So, <laughs> so this A, uh, if you have taken German, French, or Spanish, the vowels are A, A, E, O, U. They are the same in Dakota. A, 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 and I'll, I'll get, I'll talk about the vowels at the end. Anyway. So <clears throat> this, there's, there's a word, really good word here. We have ate. Ate means father. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this little mark that you're going to see above these. I'm going to write a few more words. I'm going to talk about this mark here. Next sound, this on. Uh. So we have Ampa o, ampa o. Next one we have. Baksa. So just for review, here see this T right here. This is a soft sounding T. It's not a D. I'll talk about those. So this first one we have ate, ate. This one, ampa o, ampa o. This one, baksa, baksa. Okay. <clears throat> now with these sounds that look like C's, we can need to get a new mark here. <clears throat> so this, <laughs> I've not done it like this before, so please bear with me. This is a this is a j sound. It's almost like a j, but it is not a j. So this word here, jistida. Oh wait, I should translate these two. Ate is father. Ampa o is the dawn, the first light. Baksa or bakse means to cut jistida means small and you may have uh, heard the word tanka that means large the the opposite that be jistida jistida but not with a j it's a soft c uh <clears throat> this next sound here Chong, not like Charlie Chan. Don't say Chan. Chong, try that word. Chong. It's almost like um, when you say chomp on a piece of candy or food, but it's but don't say the p. Chong, but it's not an m either. Okay. The d. There's a really good word that has the letter d in it. 
is one of the coolest words ever. Look at that. Dakota. Okay. <clears throat> so, chong means tree or wood. Could be something made out of wood. Could be a piece of lumber. Could be a branch. Chong. Uh, Dakota. That's me. And that's some of you. And this is I'm conversing or I'm speaking the Dakota language. Dakota Iwaido. That's who we are, the Dakota people. Uh, e. Etanha. Etanha. You hear that nasal? Etanha. Etanha. It almost sometimes when uh, we're speaking language, it almost sounds like etan, etan. It like gets contracted, or some people call it fast speech, but etan, huh? but etan. So <clears throat> I could say, um, uh, nakach, nakach, spayoda wote tipe etan, wahedi. I just got back from the Mexican restaurant at dawn, from, from. All right, couple more here. <coughs> All right, so this one, this is a short word. <clears throat> ri, ri, that is a r sound. We, the, that sound is not in English. So you might have uh, might have a hard time with that, but just keep practicing. Ri, ri means brown. Ri. Oh, good. Pidamaya, Diana. I appreciate that. So, <clears throat> all right. And this G. We don't. G will only come up during contractions. The Lakotas have G, and so do the Ihangtuans, but we only have a G when it comes up in contractions. And um, so I'll just leave that, leave that there, <laughs> and I'll talk about that. All right. <clears throat> so, oh shucks, do I have an eraser? Hmm. Um. Hmm. All right. I think my my first uh, my first flaw. I'll be right back. Wahidi, wahidi do, wahidi. That's a good word. It means I'm I'm back. I have arrived back. All right. So I'm going to talk about the next sounds. Now I'm hoping that <clears throat> after this, uh, you can watch this video too on your own, so you can hear some of the sounds again. <coughs> All right. So we left off with the uh, with the G. Um, so now this one. Uh, Monica. Monica. We owe a techo on you at Chindo. Oh. Oh. Okay. So <clears throat> just like regular H. This is ha ha yet do ha yet do ha yet do. If you don't mind. That means night. Night time. It's actually the time of ha, who is actually a spiritual being. So ha yet do. And again, see this this funny in here. When you ever, when you see this funny N, I'll talk about that when I talk about the vowels. All it means is the vowel that it follows is nasalized. So that is not ah, it's uh, uh, huh, huh, yet do. 
Okay. <clears throat> Next one. This one's a hard one for uh, if you're change marker here. Okay. Ha. Ha. Chota. Chota. Chota means gray. The color gray. We chompi mitawaki chota shni. My shirt is not gray. Sampe. It's black. All right. Um, I as an E as in Ishta Ishta How can he Pakinte Wa Ye Kaba Nye Yeah okay anyway Ishta that's your that's your eyes that's your your eyes are here right okay yeah Ishta, Ishta. Uh, my dad is, uh, you know, we're enrolled up at uh, Spirit Lake for Taunton. And um, my dad has black hair. He looks Dakota, but he has blue eyes. So when he was a boy, Hokshida Heaha, Ishta Toto, Chash Tumpido. The other kids, uh, when he was young, they named him uh, Blue Eyes. Ishta Toto. Ishta, Toto is blue, or it could also be green. All right, next one. <clears throat> Maybe I'll go over here. <laughs> okay. E. That's like, whoops, I just went and... Jeez, it's the comedy over here. Okay. I just, so E, there's, where's E? E, just, it's like the letter E, but in Dakota, E is, it's it's an I. E shta, okay? This one, remember what I said about that funny looking N with the little tail? This is E, E, like, like uh, when you see something that gross that you don't like, you go E. E, E, and this word right here, Ianka. Try that, Ianka. Jeez, what's? Oh, uh huh. I thought I saw the word Unze again. Unze is um your butt. Okay. Uh, Ianka. Ianka means to run, not like your nose is running, but like to do the action of running. Ianka. And this one, notice that has two nasals. Ianka, 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 Ianka. All right. <clears throat> Spent a lot of time on that one. Okay. Next one. Um. Oh, this is a hard word for uh, second language learners. So, this K over here. <laughs> uh, it's almost like a G but it's not a G, it's actually a soft K. So this word here is gaha, 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 means to make, to make it, to make something. Excuse me, I'm gonna drink my giant beverage here. <clears throat> All right, so gaha. Uh, next, this is a, a good word because it's, uh, this summer it was this. Okay. So let me fix that. Okay. So this is a, that was a soft K sound. This is a hard K. Ka. Ka. And this word here, kata. Kata, 
Kata means something is hot, like mini kata. Mini kata is one of the ways that we say tea over here. Or mini kata can also be coffee. So, but typically over here for <coughs> for coffee, we say pejuta sapa. Right? They say that out west. All right. So, uh, next one. Okay. This is this is an interesting sound here. <clears throat> um, whenever you see this after a letter, it means it's there's a stop there. And, <clears throat> you know, like uh, when something happens and you go, uh-oh, uh-oh, that stop that you do between the two O's, uh-oh, that's what, that's what that is. This is a, ah, uh, ah, uh, and this word here, mm, whoops, maybe, well, it's kind of one syllable, I guess. E. E. e means to carry or to uh, like carry something on you. E. All right. And one, we're almost out of this. <clears throat> okay. Mato. Mato. Like. Like um, if you hurt your if you hurt your big toe, you kick it. You accidentally kick something. You say, "Oh, my toe." That's it, my toe, my toe. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now that we're kind of uh, halfway through, I just kind of wanted to take a break <coughs> and talk about talk about this mark here, this mark here, this mark here, this mark here. Whoops, probably can see those. Uh, let's see here. This mark above the E, this mark above the O, this mark above the A, this mark above the I, this mark above the A, this mark above the A here, this mark above, there's no mark there. Never mind that. And this mark above the O. What that is is, <clears throat> Um, this is a writing system that was developed. It is marking the stress, the higher tone in the word specifically for written. So that if you, if you are a second language learner of Dakota and you want to know how these words sound without having access to a speaker, if you learn these sounds, if you, if you learn the writing system, you can look at these words. You can look at a word you've never heard before and say it how it should sound. Okay, that does not take much time to do that. So, <clears throat> again, I'll just go through these words here and <clears throat> listen for where the high tone is. Okay, listen for where the high tone is. Hi, yet do. In fact, I'll even go like this for the high tone. <laughs> so, hi, yet do. Hi, yet do. It's right there. It's the third syllable. There are three syllables, right? Ha yet do. It's I better not I better not put up my middle finger. Okay. Um, ha yet do. So I marked where the highest point is. Chota. Chota. Okay. I mean, it seems silly that I'm doing this, and that's not how I speak Dakota, by the way. This is just for for your um, your viewing pleasure. Okay. So chota. But again, chota, that's the high point. Ishta, ishta. See, I marked the high point. So <clears throat> I could pick up a dictionary if I if I know that. If I learn all the sounds, I can look at any word and pronounce it even if I've never seen it before. So this one, <clears throat> iyanka, iyanka, three syllables. Where's the stress? First syllable. Galha, two syllables. Where's the stress? First syllable. Kata, two syllables. <clears throat> Where's the stress? Right where I marked it, first syllable. 
14. Well, let's get past that one. Mato. Mato. Where is the stress? Mato. Second syllable. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We have moving on here. I don't know why there have to be so many letters. Okay. Okay, so we're, M was the last one, now we're on to N. Let's see. So, just like in English, N sounds like N, and uh, this word here, numpa, numpa, that means two. Mazaska Numpa, two dollars. That's about all I have to my name. Okay. Um, oh. Oh. Also, on Numpa, where is the stress? First off, how many syllables is it? Numpa, is the stress on the first or the second syllable? Where is the highest point? Numpa, it's on the first. How about this word? Okie, how many syllables? Okie, three syllables. Where's the stress? Okie, you hear how it, you hear how it starts high? Okie, okie. Some people say okie, but okie. All right, that means to help. That means he or she is helping him or her or it. All right. <coughs> Next one. Ooh, one of my favorite words, too. Okay. So this sound, it's a ba. It's almost like a B, but it is not. This is pronounced papa. Not like Papa Murphy's. Not that guy. Baba. It's not, and it's not Baba. Do you hear the difference? I'm going to say this with B's. Baba. It's not that. It's Baba. And it's not Papa. Like Papa. Papa? Maybe more like the second P in Papa, like the English term for, for dad or whatever. Anyway, Baba is, can be beef jerky or dried meat of any kind. Mm. Mostly Tatanka. Oof, that would be so good right now. Okay. All right. Uh, now we have this one. And I hope this isn't too boring. <laughs> okay. Pahi. So where's the stress? How many syllables? Two syllables. Where's the stress? Pahi. Stress is on the first syllable. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, you'll you'll buy erasers, Connie. Okay. All right. Next one. It's one of these sounds again. It has this. This is a ah ah. And what's the word that we're gonna? Oh, okay. This is a fun word. Oh, 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 whoops, pahi, pahi is hair, that's, that's hair, uh, oh, that's a really good, now, pay, now, watch, <laughs> so, pahi is hair, but if I do this, pahi, that's a porcupine. See, that's why stress is so important in Dakota. Because if you say, Pahi, Pahi Wahadasto, Pahi Wahadasto, and you were trying to say, Pahi, hair, Pahi Wahadasto, I, uh, I, I brushed my hair, but if you say, 
pahi wahadasto that's i brushed my porcupine and uh and you didn't get hurt oh, okay all right so so pahi is hair but that's a pa so you have ba ba pahi ba pa and then this o o o o means it's foggy outside it's not like uh oh something bad happened the pope o are on the way not the police but it's fog pope o pope o all right <clears throat> um next whoops that looks like five okay so we have <laughs> okay Okay, I'm going to leave the stress off and you tell me where it is. So this is just like S in English, but this word here, look, it has that mark after it. So just like, just like this, uh, 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 this is, there's a stop after that. So this is, uh, 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 so how many syllables? Sa mana. Sa mana. Where is the stress? His writing system is giving me stress. Okay. Sa mana. Sa mana. That means that um <clears throat> something does not smell very good. That's what that means. Um little story about that. Uh, Kunshi Doris Pratt up in Canada. Um, she first came down from uh, Sioux Valley. She first, she came down in Twin Cities uh, early 2000s and I picked her up at the airport and it was right after 9-11. And she was talking to me in Dakota and she kept saying, Samana, Samana, this, Samana. And I was like, whoever she's talking about smells terrible. She's talking about somebody. What I don't know who she's talking about though. And, and I said, <clears throat> She said, you know, um, what's his name? The, the the guy that, you know, made the, the airplanes fly into those buildings in New York. I said, Osama bin Laden. She said, yeah, that's him, Samana. So, all right. <clears throat> all right, next. Did I get these backwards? I got these backwards. Hold on. <laughs> that was a good story, too. I think, okay. Uh, when, I, when I'm uh, sick, I get a little silly. So actually, it's back up a little bit. So this S sound, Sapa. Sapa. Sapa means black. And then this next one, that's the Samana. Sometimes it sounds like Samana, Samana, but Samana. All right, and next we have this just a uh, single sha sha. That's a sh sound like sh sha sha. That s is a sh sound. You may have heard the word many times. We Dakotas we say wash day. Wash day, that's that S. Sha means red. That's all it is, is red. The color red. All right, <clears throat> almost done. Chabadaska okay. wabakinte do. I'm wiping the wiping the um, the whiteboard. Chabadaska chikada. All right. Next <clears throat> we have <clears throat> now again this has that stop after it. 
That's a good word. Shah. Shah. Like you want to say Shah, but you stop right in the middle. Shah. Shah. And <clears throat> that is um, to shout. He or she is shouting. Okay. So almost done here. This word be one one word that we'll be talking about in the in, in the beginning a lot. Dokhed. 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 By the way, this is <laughs> this is not a D. It's not dokhed. Duh duh. It's duh. Like in the word Dakota. Because you don't say Dakota. You say Dakota, it's that same T, so it is not a D sound. Dokhed, da, dokhed. That means how, in what way, so we'll just say that for now. All right. Next. Just giving some, some short words here. <clears throat> Toe, like your big toe. Toe. So it's a t. Toe. Toe can be can be. <laughs> toe can be blue or green. Okay, it depends. All right. Next one. This is another one. It has that symbol, right? So it's good. There's going to be a stop after it. That's a good word. Tat ah. Tat ah. Nape. Nape is your hand. Nape. How nape. How nape. Nape. Nape mat at ah. Nape mat at ah. My hand is asleep. My hand is uh it's kind of dead. Ta by itself means dead. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to write this without the accent. Uma. Uma. Again, how many syllables? Uma. 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 Where's the stress? Where's the highest point? Uma. Right there. Just like uh, this is uh, a nut, like a peanut or acorn or whatever nut, but just pronounce exactly like the, the actress, Uma Thurman. Uma. Uma Ihidi, peanut butter. Uma Ihidi. Ihidi is like a, uh, could be a grease or oil or something. All right. Then we have. Oh, I'll leave the stress off. Unkdomi. Unkdomi. So where, how many syllables are there? Unkdomi. 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 And then where is the stress? Unkdomi. Unkdomi. So it always goes above a vowel. Get there. Unktomi. So that's how we in Minnesota Makoche Dechia Unktomi Okapcha. That's how we say Unktomi. Out west they say Iktomi. <clears throat> Not Idomini. All right. But you notice, notice this? U and un. U un. Wata. Wata. It's not, it's a soft T. You don't say wada. Wata. And you don't say wata. Wata. Wata is a boat. Where does a boat go? Goes on the wada. The wata goes on the wada. 
that's a joke no okay all right <clears throat> so we have let's do this one this is an easy one here yute 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 means he or she is eating something yute where's the stress how many syllables wancha nopa wancha nopa nopa two syllables yute where's the stress goes above the ball right there yute all right almost done let's say easy one z just like the letter z <laughs> this is a word z z means yellow and oh this is a good word okay i'm gonna leave the stress off that one <clears throat> but ja ja like uh the word pleasure or the material azure or whatever that is um Typically, that sounds exist in English, but it's in pleasure, but it's not a Z. In Dakota, that's a we write that as a Z with a little mark above it. Wojapi, 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 mm, wojapi. Um, where's the stress? How many syllables? Wancha numpa yamini. Right here. Wojapi. So just to review these here, we have. Ah. Ah, dokhed, dokhed, toe, toe. Well, maybe he or she is shouting. Dokhed, how, in what way, what manner? Toe, blue or green. Ah, it's like a uh, body part fell asleep. Uma, that's a nut. Uh, not as in a person, as in uh, like a peanut. Unktomi, that's the, that's a spider. That's a generic word for spider. That's also our trickster. We do not have a devil that was brought over by uh, Euro Americans. We did we, that. We didn't have that. We have a trickster, and our trickster does a lot of crazy things. He does some bad things. He does some good things. Wata, that's boat. Yute. He or she is eating it. Tado, yute. Oh, uma, yute. There's a complete Dakota sentence. Uma, yute. He or she is eating a nut, a peanut. Z, yellow. Wojapi. Wojapi is, uh, that could be pudding, that could be gravy. You would put what type it is before. So, like, <clears throat> haza. Haza. How do you think you would, so that's blueberry. How do you think you would write that? Haza, haza. So it has ha, haza. Haza is blueberry. Haza, ojapi. That's blueberry pudding or, yeah, that's good on fried bread. And then there's tado. Tado is uh, meat. Tado wojapi, that would be gravy. So, all right. <clears throat> now, just wanted to, again, just talk about these. How are we doing for time? Holy Toledo. All right. So, um, again, the vowels. A, uh, A, E. O, U, A, E, E, O, U. And also, un, A, un, E, 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 O, U, U. Okay, <clears throat> so 
and you really have to make sure you're saying one or the other. Because so there's a dokedya unha. Dokedya unha. Hokura dokedya unha. How are you, my friend? Dokedya un. That uses this dokedya un. If I say hokura dokedya unha, that's like, uh, that's not how are you. That's how did you, how did you come? Did you come by car? Did you walk here? See? So that that little sound makes a big difference when you're speaking Dakota, especially to a speaker. <clears throat> All right. So just wanted to talk about a few more letters. So again, we have uh, this C. We have this C. We have this K, this K. This P, this P, this T, and that T. So again, that's a soft C. And it's almost like a J, but it's not. Don't say a J. So, ja, cha, ja, cha. All right. Uh, I'll just put I'll just put E's at the at the on the end of these because it'd be good practice. Okay, so ja cha like cha 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 ja cha not not ja ja okay down here we have ga and ka ga ka this is almost like a ga but it's not this K is almost like, actually, I'll just read the, the letter. That's almost like a G, but it's not. Okay. Ga, ka. All right. So this is almost like a B, but it is not. Ba, pa. Ba, ba, pa. It's not ba. It's ba. This one, almost like a D, but it is not. It's da, da, ta, da, ta. All right? So something to keep in mind. <clears throat> now for slightly more advanced learners, uh, especially these three sounds, these will actually come up in the language, but it depends. Typically, it's, it's in contractions is when they come up. And uh, I don't think I don't think I'll be talking about that for a while. All right. So just uh, do a, a mini mini language lesson here. A. Maybe I'll turn it this way. Okay. Dokedya unha. Dokedya un. Whoops. There we go. Dokedya unha. Dokedya unha. Dokedya un. Dokedya un. Okay. So <clears throat> what that is is that's how are you? What is your state of being? And I just wanted to say when you ask somebody in English, how's it going? How are you doing? Typically, if you walk into a store and somebody has never seen you before and they say, how are you? Can you talk to them about uh, your recent health scare or, uh, you know, something like an infection that you had? No, typically not. Some people do. But in Dakota, when you ask somebody, you're using the language. This is a sacred language. We consider the language to be holy, sacred, because it was given to us by the Creator. And uh, when we ask somebody, we really mean that. We mean, how is your state of being? But when we do that, we kind of open that door for them to tell us however they're feeling. So, 
<clears throat> All right, so how are you? So some responses to that. I'll, I'll write a few here and then go over them. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> That'll be good for tonight, I think. Okay, so the question, how are you? So this first one, Diane, try that. Diane, Diane. You see the stress on the second syllable? Diane, Diane wa un. Whoops. We have to put the, yeah. Diane wa un. So on the end here, you see I have ye and do. <clears throat> in Dakota, we have a male and a female way of talking. I am a man, so I will say do, and a woman will say ye. Now that's just that's just for starters. <coughs> um, so daya wa un do. So if somebody were to say, oh, chante maza do could ya un have said, and I'm fine. Daya wa un do, I'm fine. I really like that one because that was uh, from an elder in Sioux Valley told me. A lot of the older ones said, Because <laughs> she'd be a woman and speaking woman. Okay. That's like, I am doing great. I am doing super. Things are Things are just fine. And they would mean that. Because again, somebody asks you, do could ya unhe, you have full right. So then we get into things like that. Wamaya zanke. Wamaya zanke. That's that's me, me tonight. I am sick. But I'm I'm fine. <clears throat> I'm also fine at the same time, but uh, I'm sick. Wamaya zanke. Wamaya zanke. So that's five syllables, stress on the second there. Wamaya zanke do. And then last one here. Wamatuka. Wamatuka. Wamatuka do. Wamatuka do. Wamatuka. Okay. So, all right. And Hankashi Noella put mawash ye, so she's good. That's a. I'll put. I'll put that one on the. This is. This is a good one. Mawashte, mawashte, not mawashte, mawashte. That means I'm good. I'm good. Do could ya unhe, mawashte do. Or, seriously, speakers sometimes, they'll just say, mawashte do. It's good. Okay. All right. So, whoops. <laughs> um, I'll be posting the audio files for these on, uh, this is, i put the Facebook site up here. If you just do a search for these, this is, if you, it's not Bado. Bado is potato, by the way. Bade is lake. Bade. Bede Ota Dakota Iapi Ocheti is the Facebook page. I'll be putting up um, this video should be on there, and I'll also have uh, audio files and also the the written. It's actually there already is a little language lesson up there right now, but we'll put the audio files with it. So, okay, a few minutes here. <clears throat> um, questions? Do you have any questions? 
a lot of work, by the way. <laughs> if you have questions, you can just type them, type them in the little uh, feed there, and I should see them. So, and if not, that's also fine. Uh, so we do have. Uh, oh, so I guess while I'm waiting, see if there are any questions. Um, just a, a few really cool books. Well, I don't, I don't know about this first one. So <clears throat> I would recommend this. This is a Dakota English Dictionary. Uh, this missionary didn't get everything right, but it's it's okay. Um, there's this one from Sisseton. English to Dakota Dictionary. Highly recommend it. Oh, okay, there's a question there. I'll just finish this up here. Also from Sisseton, uh, Clifford Chanku and a couple of his students put this, Tokaya Dakota Yapikin, Beginning Dakota. I would highly recommend this book. And <clears throat> there's this one, Dakota Iawo Dakapo, Speak Dakota, put together by, I don't know if you can see it, the Dakota Iapi Okodakchie. Dakota Language Society. So anyway, this one also has pictures, you know, like here. But it uses that writing system I was just using. So there's the body label. Okay. So let's see. Uh, Becca, how do you say I hope you feel better or feel better soon since you aren't feeling well right now? I'll, I'll write it in the comments section here. So <clears throat> if you're telling somebody to just to, to be well, very short way to do it. Dayawo. Dayawo. Many ways to say, uh, take care of yourself, hope you feel better, but Dayawo. Uh, Oha, Kahashi Monty, can you say dresser drawer? Dresser drawer. I'll have to get back to you. A dresser is um heake. Heake oh. Oh. <laughs> That's my cousin that asked me that. Oh boy, I am sick. That's a good one. I'll have to think about that story in Dakota, uh cousin. <laughs> uh Connie asks, can you just use one O oh, for fog? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right. <laughs> oh, shucks. That's a good one. Um, yeah, so also, um, if you're in the Twin Cities area, we do have uh, Dakota language tables. Uh, Tuesday, third, wait, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at um, the Minneapolis American Indian Center. Uh, my Toshka Dawi Huhamaza teaches the Tuesday, Thursday one. Um, and then I teach the Wednesday one, and they're in the evening. So I can tell you the Wednesday one I teach is 5.30 to 7. The ones he teaches, it's 5.30 to 7 on Wednesdays I teach at. And then on Tuesday, Thursday, 5 to 7, uh, that one's for beginners and intermediate. So <clears throat> is there a Dakota word for skateboarding? Or longboarding. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of these new, new things you described. Chambadaska. That could be one word for skateboard. Uh, I'll have to think about pick up your toys. You know that one. We got the. Well, when you tell them to pick them up, that's usually pick up your toys and put them away. Eiki. Eiki. Hanaka. I'll talk about this later. Uh, as as a man, I'm going to tell one person, Wishkate Eiki Hanakawo. Wishkate Eiki Hanakawo. Oh, hey, hey, Kitomi. Um, a woman would just say, Wishkate Eiki Hanaka. That's put your put your toys away or put your toy away. All right. So, all right. Uh, that it is. That's it for tonight. 
a high day pick to do that's that's all I'll say. Uh, now hopefully this this disconnects.